Hi YouTube, I'm going to keep this brief because I'm in the car, um, just getting started before I head out. I just want to make this quick video. I've been on the, on a diet since January. I eat properly to what the requirement is for the sleeve and I just kept that as my normal everyday diet. I do eat pretty much on schedule. Um, I do have a scheduled day, what time I get up and what time I go to sleep. Um, take my boyfriend to work and all that stuff so I have to be on a schedule. I went off my meal schedule yesterday. I kind of had it to. I ate dinner around 6 o'clock, and that's early for me. Um, my boyfriend works nights, part of nights, I should say. Not all night, but part of nights, so we eat late. And I don't normally go to bed till like 1 or 2 o'clock. And I get up like 9, 10 o'clock, depending on the day, but usually 9. And um, I normally eat between 10 and 10.30 in the morning, and... Um, 12, 1 in the afternoon, and then um, I'll snack in between. Sometimes I eat lunch around 1 or 2, so I don't 12. Depends on my day if I work it out. Anyways, um, I usually keep within a time frame, I should say. 2 3 hours time frame within breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My dinner is usually anywhere around between 7.30 and 9.30. So, <clears throat> I ate pretty early yesterday in consideration. I ate at 6 o'clock salad. I went to Napa's and I had salad and they're um, really, really like extremely thin um, pizza. <clears throat> like hardly anything on it. But it was yummy. Um, and I got really, really hungry at night. I got hungry around 10 o'clock but all I, I wasn't even home so I was at my mom's house. And I do have some snacks over there. I have my um, soy delicious popsicles my ice cream popsicles and they're very tiny very low sugar calories and such non-dairy so so they can have and I love it and I had one of those and it satisfied me for a while but by the time I got home at one o'clock I was like downright starving and I don't I'm in the process of moving so I don't have a lot of stuff into my house um the only thing I had available instantly because my stove is not working it's like a can of spaghetti that's all I had, like, instant I could eat at 1 o'clock in the morning. I decided to eat one. It was one of those tiny ones, the half ones. Not the full can, but the really small ones. Um, they're not really good in nutrition fact, but it's what I had at the time. It's low calories, like 220 cals and, like, 7 grams of protein and 1 gram of sugar, 2 gram of sugar, something along those lines. So it's, it's really low in the factor, but it's still not a healthy choice. But I have it in stock because I got them free. I do coupons, and I got it free, and I got it mostly for my boyfriend, but he doesn't eat them. Uh, he likes them, but he doesn't eat them. I don't know. Anyways, to that point, I had one, and I got so sick. So, it is, I haven't even got my operation yet. My operation is still now for another 17 days. And because I've been stuck on this diet for a while, I went off of it. I got so sick last night. I felt nauseous. Like, I couldn't go to bed until like 3.30 in the morning. That's how bad I felt. So, even though you haven't got your sleeve yet, try to keep to your diet, your schedule. If you have been doing that, I should say. I've been doing, like I said, since January. And it's now April, so it's been four months. I would suggest to keep to your diet as much as possible. You know, I do go off on what I eat sometimes, but it's not like a huge amount. So I'll try to get things small portions and that sort of thing. So yeah, it it, it was such a small amount, but it's what I ate and what time I ate. I guess it was just bad. I felt so sick to my stomach, and like I said, I haven't got my operation yet. So. So heads up if you stick to a diet for this long to be careful what you eat, what time you eat, and such like that. Because you about to get used to one thing and you try to change it instantly and it reacts. So that's my tip, my insights. It's pretty windy. <laughs> I'm looking at the tarp coming off the car in my parking lot. So. Anyhow, that's about it. Talk to you later. Bye.